I feel you have to dust something off and step into your power in a situation. Become unbothered. Many of you have moved on. You're no longer interested in something. You could be moving in silence and I feel that is completely triggering someone. As it seems, someone is put off by the fact that you have chose you. I feel you moving in silence is definitely starting to affect someone. You not being interested or being unbothered feels like someone thinks you're moving on for good. I feel there's a lot of evidence family issues, someone wanting you back. But I also feel there is energy here hating on you. These are energies who are triggered in some way, but still wanting to be next to you. Someone's wondering what you're doing in silence, not knowing that you're in silence because you you know you dodged a bullet. Yeah. This is why you're not interested. For some of you, you may have evidence of something, receipts, or this is just knowledge of someone going round and round with you. This feels like a endless back and forth with someone who just makes it harder to love them. This is someone who is coming out as a spiritual hater, a drama starter. I feel like this is someone who is all in their head, talking a lot about you, whether good or bad. This is someone who knows they ignored you. Now they feel you're acting cold and unfazed. They're confused at why you're running. I feel many of you are just sped up with dealing with an imposter. Same old thing, different day when it comes to scare tactics and someone abusing their energy, their power. As I said before, this is someone who likes the attention, the energy. They're coming out as someone who hates on you for really no reason. Mm. There's distance. And I also feel something is played out. Many of you could be moving or someone else could be moving. This energy is coming out as a wolf in sheep's clothing. Mm. This energy is coming out as a happiness hater. Someone who has stepped out of their boundaries yet wanting to be back in position. But I feel many of you have dodged a bullet when it comes to someone who has disrespected the connection too many times. Let's get some more energy here. So I feel like this drama starter, they're curious about you. But like I said before, many of you already know you dodged a bullet when it comes to someone wanting to be back in position. I feel like this energy knows that you have a lot of evidence or you know the truth about their energy and this is why you're moving on or many of you are just unbothered. For many of you, you know someone always comes back. And someone knows that you're always building or achieving something more when you go silent. This is why they're curious and wondering why you're running or moving in silence. This is someone who has com become completely reckless, wanting to make an offer that you do not trust. This energy is coming out as bankrupt mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Please take it how it resonates with you. Yet I feel this energy is threatened by you in some type of way. Cloud hungry energy here. Someone has a low IQ. This is someone who has deceived you, trapped themselves in some type of way. I also feel this is someone who ha tried to put you at some type of distance. So from what I'm getting here, this is someone who doesn't like your distance or even your silence as it's starting to torment those who know they haven't been honest or true to you or even about you. As it's seen, someone is feeling cheated because you're not reacting or trying to defend yourself the way that they expected you to. I feel like this is someone who is still reckless. And in being reckless, they have become bankrupt emotionally, spiritually. This is why they can't compromise or have any type of compassion when it comes to them. In fact, this energy is intimidated, threatened, bothered when it comes to your energy because they know in so many ways you're winning. I feel this energy doesn't want you to have the love, the respect, the energy that you deserve. This is someone who is fishing for something. Fishing for some type of energy. This is someone who is trying to kiss up to you in some type of way when they really wanted to start some type of drama with you. Stir up the energy that used to be between the two of you. Someone is fishing for something. 
because they're curious about the love and admiration that you're receiving. As I said before, someone knows that you are winning, yet they're coming up empty, still trying to start some type of drama with you. Yet I sense someone is definitely wasting time. I feel like someone is stuck, stuck in some old ways of thinking, being, and even receiving. And this is why the both of you are no longer connected. Someone is threatened by you in so many ways. This is someone who is irritated by your energy. Hmm. For many of you, your light irritates someone's demons. This energy is coming out as a karmic energy who is wondering who is idolizing and loving you. This is someone who is coming out with fake smiles, energy that is very deceiving. This energy is reflecting, reflecting on you. This is someone who has a bad reputation or is getting one. This is why you don't trust the offer. This is someone who wants to make a, a gesture that is very materialistic. This is why many of you don't see it as a pure offer, something that you can trust or even count on. This is someone who has broken promises in the past before. You just might see it as a dirty offer or something you should refuse. This is someone who is haunted by the memories. This is someone who is having flashbacks of the damage, but this energy is still trying to pretend to be changed. They're reflecting, but still neglecting the truth. Hmm. There's trauma when it comes to the memories. There's side effects, which cause this energy to be in their head about being blocked by you, rejected by you. This energy just might be holding a grudge. So for many of you, you feel like this energy has no reason to start any type of war or dead energy with you, but I feel that their ego is affected, their heart is secretly wounded. I feel this is someone who is holding a grudge because they don't know how to deal with the energy and the feelings that they're dealing with. They're reflecting, but this energy is still trying to stir the pot, dig up dirt on you, start some type of argument. Because they don't know how to deal with their emotions. This is someone who is having a lot of emotions about you behind the scenes. This is why they're tripping on you. Because they don't they don't know how to chase you. They don't want to chase you. But I feel them rejecting something, not tapping into something, is only bringing them the worst karma. This is someone who has a lot, a lot of bad habits because they don't want to be alone. But this energy is still playing games because they're sitting in groupy energy, caring about what others think, believing they're bossing up or standing their ground. But I feel they're the only ones standing in their own way, holding a grudge and adding to their karmic debt. I feel like someone not making an authentic offer towards you and being fake towards you is the reason why an offer cannot be made. And something when it comes to their energy is just being rejected, denied. This is why many of you are moving on to find something new, something more stable or reliable because this energy is pretending like you're the one affecting a situation, making something worse. But this is someone who knows they need to make an offer because they're only adding to their own dead. Let's get one more card here from this dear Holy Spirit. What are the messages here for the collective energy? Now, someone definitely wants to make an offer towards you. Let's get another deck out here. It surely tap into the energy here. So it seems like there's a narcissist who has a bad reputation creating situationships, digging up dirt where they know there's a lot of evidence against them. I feel this is someone who is definitely worried about you moving on. They know they've created a lot of damage within this situation. They feel like they need to make an offer towards you. But whatever this offer is, it doesn't feel like it's from the heart. It feels material. It feels like there's no depth. Someone's still playing when it comes to relationships. Someone is still playing games when it comes to making an offer or reconciling with you, making something better. But instead, this energy is reflecting on something different. Knowing they have love for you, this energy is still blindsiding you. 
there's no trust. This energy doesn't want to beg, they don't want to compromise, yet they're still obsessed. Hmm. Someone knows they're going to have to confess something here, validate something. Someone feels like if they want to know what you're up to, they're going to have to tell some pockets of truth to validate your emotions or validate something that you know to be true. Because if they don't, they know you're going to be closed off to them. I feel them not validating the truth or not being honest have definitely put some of you in a space of regret for all the times you chose to compromise. But I feel the vibe has changed after the broken trust and disrespect because someone definitely tried to step on your neck. This is someone you had to block from your energy or I feel your ancestors had to step in and create some type of blockage when it comes to someone who is still being disrespectful when it comes to you. However, I do feel someone shocked Someone shocked because you're no longer being nice. Hmm. Someone shocked because they feel like you're running now. Running from their love. This is someone who made the mistake of not apologizing. Wow, not apologizing, not being sorry. This is someone who didn't admit they're wrong because they still believe they're right. This is why they're bread breadcrumbing you or still trying to pretend like something is a misunderstanding that this energy has already got caught being fake. Someone already got caught being fake. They're just shocked that you blocked them or they've been blocked energetically. Hmm. Someone didn't think things would go this way, but I feel something needed to happen when it comes to someone who is always blindsiding you when it comes to respect and real issues. Yeah. Someone's definitely shocked the vibe changed or you closed the door and you blocked them. This is something that they didn't expect you to do. As I said before, someone's a little upset because you're not reacting in the way that they thought that you would. Claiming you were crazy for giving into the distance, but many of you feel like you were crazy for letting this go on for so long. Now things are uncertain when it comes to a relationship that blindsides you with disrespect. Because now, now that someone took so many risks with no reward for the games they like to play, the trust is broken. And someone is curious because they don't have any facts. Someone doesn't have any facts and third-party energy, some type of environment, it's getting chaotic. There's no real connection, there's no foundation, there's a lot of manipulation and energies pretending like you're being picky. Someone is pretending like you're being picky when you're only speaking facts, when it comes to your pain, your hurt, and the abuse you've been through, the manipulation, the crazy energy of people playing childish mind games. And because of the abuse, Many of you are not speaking. I feel there's something shady when it comes to unfinished business and someone has a very anxious mindset about that. Someone has an anxious mindset when it comes to a confession because as I said before, someone is anxious because they know it's the only way they can, the truth. Someone wants you to open up and ignore the fact that they drove you crazy or they called you crazy but this is someone who just didn't appreciate you they created a trauma bond with you through strategy because they're intimidated by you but i feel this is the very thing that caused you to be uninterested and i feel you have to make a decision to move on even when you were pushed away for many of you, this energy knows that you are independent and capable of having more and doing more. And this is why they have an anxious mindset and they're curious about your energy because they really don't know what to expect from, from you now that they know that the trust is beyond repairable or you feel used, unheard. Someone knows they never set something as a priority. And now that you have moved on or they feel like you are no longer looking back, 
they regret pushing you to a point of no return because now that there's unfinished business there's a lot of shady things going on when it comes to the truth and the pain that was caused and how someone is always seeming to blindside you someone took away the trust by pretending you were the problem or the source of their mistakes now someone could be reflecting on what's the real issue because at this point those who judged or doubted your journey will either have to ask for help or eat the words because even if you don't see the light or the new beginnings in your life everyone else does and I feel someone's trying to pull you back keep you from elevating reflecting this is why someone is wanting to distract you with something that is meaningless or even material because they're too afraid to go deep enough with you which I feel is unfortunate for them because as you breathe new life into your destiny by letting go of the past or letting go of things that you know you can't control I feel true bonds are finally being earned Let's get some more energy here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Let's jump into the energy here, Holy Spirit. What are the messages? What are the messages here for the collective energies? For many of you, I do see a back and forth here. I do feel you trying to compromise with this energy. Hmm. <laughs> but now many of you are just moving on with your life. So much has changed. Like I said before, you've done something that is least expected. I feel this could be strategic or not. Many of you had to move on with your life. Or you just feel like life moves on. But I feel this just makes someone feel more guilty. <sighs> so for many of you, this is someone who feels like the cards are stacked against them now that you're moving on. Because I feel like you being strategic or being silent. It's caused someone to look real guilty. I feel like the more you pull back, the more something is revealed. Because things are looking up for you. While things are falling apart for them. Because I see many of you pushing forward no matter the hardship, healing, bossing up, leveling up in so many ways. Many of you are no longer wasting time. Wow. For many of you, while you're bossing up, this energy is wasting time, giving bad advice, receiving bad advice, but pretending to be above others. For many of you, this is someone who is judgmental, but always moving out of agenda, love bombing others, yet spreading lies to in intimidate others because they're in insecure this energy is coming out as a chameleon someone who is always sucking the life force out of others and I guess this is where the bad advice steps in mm. this is someone who actually believes their own lies this is how they stir the pot pretending to be clueless to their wrongs mm. just to see how far they can take advantage of a situation. This is someone who pretends something isn't what it is. They cry wolf, even when they're the predator. I feel like this is someone who pretends nothing is going on just to protect their own shenanigans, making fake accounts, making up lies about you. This is someone who has a lot of problems when it comes to their personality. Mm. Wow. Very difficult to control. This is someone who feels like you have the upper hand and this is why they're crying wolf when they know they're giving the bad advice as well as taking it. As I sense these energies who never respected your time or matched your energy or effort is not wanting to come closer. So whoever this is that didn't match your effort or your energy is wanting to come back around or mend a broken bridge with you after something is discovered or revealed about you. 
This is why they're wanting to make a gesture or, or some type of offer hmm. that many of you are not tapping into. Just a, someone crying wolf when they're truly a predator. In many ways, I feel like this is someone who is very difficult to understand, control, hmm. partner up with. This is someone somewhat of a, a loose cannon. Sometimes you feel like you can trust them and then they end up showing you why you shouldn't. But now that you have moved on or leveled up, these energies don't like the fact that the odds are now stacked against them. Hmm. This is someone who is very controlling energy here. This is someone who is pretending to be nice. But this energy is wanting to push you over the edge. I feel like this is someone who likes to apologize for things, but nothing changes. This is someone who makes a lot of careless mistakes, but never really understanding the long-term effects, as this is someone who is always breaking hearts by playing frivolous games. Because they feel like it's better for others to be hurt instead of them. This is someone who is casting spells, breaking hearts, causing harm to others. I feel like this is someone who claims they want forgiveness or can be forgiven, yet this energy is still holding resentment. This is someone who is still trying to hold something over your head. And for others, this is someone who holds something over the heads of others just for entertainment. I feel this is someone who is always accusing others of their own harmful ways of being. As it seems, this energy loves the game of cat and mouse. I feel for many of you, this is someone who always has your name on their lips or this is someone who is always thinking about you because they feel like you rejected them or abandoned them. They feel like you left them behind. Mm. So I feel like they're making up lies to support them or make them feel important. They're trying hard, but getting nowhere. Wow. Wow, this is someone who's very low vibrational. They're throwing their weight around to intimidate. This energy is coming out as a real life troll who is very vengeful. Liking to tear others down who don't follow the crowd. And I feel that it's just not your energy. That's just not how you move. Hmm. This is why things are quiet because someone is just not who they say they are I feel this energy throwing their weight around and being vengeful about you not being easily led has definitely put you in a space where you're repulsed uninterested, disgusted and even though this energy knows you feel this way they're coming back anyways but I feel there are some buried secrets. There are illusions. This energy is still trying to keep up something, run some type of show, some type of circus here, where someone is hiding the evidence. But I feel something will soon be found out. Hmm. These are things that it, this energy doesn't want others to dig up. Hmm. I feel something is about to restore the balance when it comes to someone who may come your way thinking that they can control something or return something back to the way it was. The time's up. Time's, time's up. Someone has to pay. Because the balance is about to be re restored when it comes to someone who is pretending like things won't somehow be the same. But I feel for many of you, this is someone who has tunnel vision. They're pretending, playing nice, giving bad advice. This is someone who's trying to taint the energy around you, trying to taint or distort how others think of you, how others feel about you, just to control a narrative or keep others from shining a light on their faults. As this is someone who definitely has tunnel vision when it comes to taking you back to a space you've already leveled up from, I feel this is someone who is deeply intimidated by not just the person you are, but also the person they know you can become. Because if you had noticed, every attack they have made on you was in an effort to make you feel like you were less than what you truly are. 
Mm. Yeah, someone is definitely laying it on thick, pretending to be nice, yet this energy is being very cryptic. Mm. This is someone who is easily bothered and wearing their heart on their sleeve, and this is why they're laying something on thick when it comes to playing nice. Someone is being cryptic about you being independent. Someone doesn't want you to know how insecure and bothered they are. But the fact that something has changed about your energy, I feel that is what truly bothers them. The fact that you have the upper hand when it comes to your intuition. For many of you, you have definitely leveled up. This is why someone is curious and haunted by the past. Someone knows they did you wrong and set you up to fail. And this is why they're wearing their heart on their sleeve, laying something on thick, pretending like something isn't what it was when it truly is what it is. They just never thought in the end you would win. Hmm. I feel like someone definitely knows without a shadow of a doubt they set you up to fail. This is why this energy is being cryptic playing nice but they're very insecure because they know what they did even if you don't as I sense many of you have cut your losses when it comes to someone's cryptic games hmm. deep seated energy someone is wasting time when it comes to playing with you playing with your energy your emotions the past pretending something wasn't what it was Hmm. I feel like someone is definitely downplaying something when it comes to how they chose to treat you. Not realizing how in the end it will make you that much more stronger. Because despite your challenges, I do see you receiving and attracting what you desire the most. Hmm. This is new opportunities. I see you opening doors and stepping through them. Hmm. Wow. Wow, so for many of you, a lot of these things are already unfolding for you. Hmm. Where I sense life is about to bring you to a point where you're no longer disappointed or triggered by your past, yet driven and inspired by the lesson. For many of you, you stepping into your power is definitely putting someone in a space where they know they're skating on thin ice as you level up. They're having time, a hard time dealing with something. They're being childish. Someone's being childish, stringing something along when it comes to the past. Hmm. And still trying to hold a grudge when it comes to you. But I feel someone's about to understand in a very harsh way that they're wasting valuable time playing with your energy. As in since you are definitely highly protected and someone's about to learn the hard way that karma's a bitch. I feel karma is definitely already resonating in someone's life here when it comes to an imposter someone who is dismissing you on every level when they know they're starving for your attention this is someone who has a mob-like mentality when it comes to humiliating others because they know they're humiliated by their own choices or their own tactics even in life i feel this is someone who is skating on thin ice because what they're doing this mob-like behavior dismissing your energy trying to publicly embarrass you, it's all gonna crash and burn. I see something crashing and burning when it comes to someone trying to bait and switch you. Someone who has a mouthful of lies when it comes to your energy. I feel someone is just affected by the fact that you're unwilling to share or be led by their tyrant or toxic energy. Yet whatever the case may be, whatever you chose to do, definitely put someone in their place. You definitely need an applause for how you handle things. I feel someone sitting in this mob-like mentality got them nowhere. Because now they're haunted by their choices. Because in so many ways it's not what they did, it's how they chose to do it. And this is the very reason someone is wearing their heart on their sleeve. Laying something on thick because they're starting to see there's no win in the end. Not for them, at least. Mm. Wow, because from what I can see, those who doubt your energy, your light, and your honesty will never have a victory in the claims they stake against you, as all your debt has definitely been paid in full, which only allows the P 
peace and abundance that you have gained to not only be priceless, but worth the wait. Because as those who doubt you skate on thin ice, I see you leveling up. You're leveling up to spaces this energy won't be able to affect or annoy you or even challenge you in any type of way because I definitely feel the, the odds are stacked against them. Hmm. This is some final energy here. We're going to end this with a tarot deck. I appreciate you guys sticking around for the reading. Step into the energy. Find the deck. Confirmation. Holy Spirit. Thank you. Confirmation. So we have the Hermit card, the Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords, Ten of Wands. So we have isolation. Mm. This is your energy. Wow. As I said before, someone doesn't like the fact that you have distanced yourself or you have accepted the distance and even tapped into the silence. I feel you're just being honest, not just with yourself, but everyone else around you. I feel you're coming out with non-conforming energy. You're not conforming to anything and even anyone. You're tapping into self and doing what is true to you. This is what is increasing your energy, your power, and this is why others can see you growing, even if you don't feel it. Ten of Wands is just letting me know that this has become a heavy burden for you. You're definitely in between worlds here and closing a cycle. This has been a struggle, but I feel your struggle is about to end where a new abundant reality begins. We also have Ten of Swords energy here. Hangman, Nine of Pentacles, as well as the Death card. Mm. So for many of you, we have the Hermit card, as well as the Ten of Swords. This is you in isolating, isolating energy of soul searching, contemplation, severing ties that are very painful. I feel this loss is definitely not sitting well with others who want to be around, but has yet to surrender to the truth. I feel there's a lot of energies here you had to sever ties with to allow yourself the abundance that is coming your way. For many of you, you had to let go. There's some sacrifice here. So with sacrifice, for many of you, you have to do it with a heavy heart. Mm. You have to let go of some things that you know you have no control over. And this is why you see the truth. Hmm. I feel like there is slow and steady progress here with the Knight of Pentacles energy, but here with the Death card, this is energy that transforms endings into a rebirth. This is spiritual growth. And for others, where the odds are stacked against them, this is an ego death. I see you overcoming challenges. I see you moving forward. I see you making choices and decisions that sit well within your, your body, your soul. This is wishes coming true. This is gratitude towards the universe. I see you setting your intentions and reaching milestones. I feel you are favored in so many ways. Ten of Pentacles is letting me know there's something coming your way when it comes to your stability. Mm. Good things in life. I feel whatever this is, it will be consistent for you. Mm. I see you creating, manifesting. I feel this is inspired action for someone who is very powerful. But I feel in many cases you don't know how powerful you are. But you soon will. Because as you step into your full potential, you'll discover you have survived many things that would have broken most. And because of that... Many are looking at you in many ways for different reasons, and it's hard to tell who's friend or foe. Yet I sense that's when the magician energy here comes into play. Inspired action of power, wisdom. Justice card is bringing in balance. Mm. So for many of you, this is a cycle of trying to figure out who is friend or foe, who to let into your energy. But I also feel you must tap into your intuition when it comes to recognizing the energy within others because you will determine and understand that energy never lies, even when people do. As I sense you keep being in hermit mode, 
tapping into what is within, what is true to you to create honesty, karma for those who have crossed you. Wow. Your objective, your determination is big change, action, movement. Here with the Knight of Swords. This is action and movement towards your desires, Ace of Pentacles. I see opportunities for you where there's big rewards, ideas. You're manifesting in great ways when it comes to passion, new beginnings. You're inspired. Hmm. You're either inspired or you're carrying the torch for others. You're a guiding light, a healer. You're attracting many things. Hmm. You're attracting many things that are mutual when it comes to your own light. You're coming out as fierce. Hmm. Wild when it comes to your spirit. You're very intelligent and, and very intuitive when it comes to your heart. For many of you, you don't even recognize or even understand your power just yet. But I feel you're about to tap into a potential that most fear you never find or you never understand. Yet I feel this is when your life experiences and your life lessons come into play. As nothing you have been through will ever be in vain. Because from what I can see here, you're prepared. <laughs> Over prepared for many of you. I feel like you're very prepared for your biggest moments. Yet, you also must keep in mind, there will always be something or someone willing to play with your energy. So be cautious of those who envy you or don't understand you because both can do a lot of damage and create long-term consequences. I feel for many of you, some of these energies, they mean well, but they're so damaged and broken by life that they're irritated at the fact that life hasn't broken you. For many of you, this is someone who definitely sits in a space where they're not happy with how things turned out for them. But the fact that you can still manifest, create, and have others see you as a guiding light, this bothers them. This is why someone's wanting to get next to you, so they can drain you of your life force. Yet you setting intentions and creating endings or accepting an ending has definitely allowed a cycle to end and a new one to begin. For many of you, there's a lot of tension behind the scenes when it comes to a battle of the wits, someone being selfish when it comes to a situation because there's no honesty, there's no respect within a situation where someone's wanting to possess something. They're wanting to have control, but there's no control. Just conflict, five of wands energy. We also have the Three of Swords, separation and confusion. Someone has just become a headache. Seven of Swords is letting me know this energy is sneaky, deceitful, pretending not to care when deep down they should. <laughs> but this energy is wearing a mask. Five of Swords energy is letting me know this energy is wearing a mask and very defensive about it. This energy knows they're wearing a mask and they're not who they're pretending they are. But this energy has been pretending to be this person for so long. Deep down, they've kind of accepted or convinced themselves they are. Hmm. They've convinced themselves they are something that they're not. Hmm. This is why many of you had to let go. Someone is just sitting in a space of delusion. They're still not in a space where they know they should move on, transition, create some balance within home, stability, trust the process like you have. Six of Swords. Many of you didn't understand the situation, but now I feel like you're trusting your, your guides, the universe. You're trusting your intuition when it's telling you to step back. Allow someone to receive the energy that has now become their biggest burden. Hmm. Because it's going to create a victory, success for you. I see you letting go of someone wearing a mask. Someone who's always creating challenges, tension, and friction to set your intentions. Hmm. to set your intentions when it comes to change and I feel you creating change within your own life only becomes a tower moment for someone who didn't expect you to change 
But I feel you shouldn't underestimate those who are pondering you, stressing your energy. Oh, wow. These are thoughts that are keeping someone up late at night. Even though these energies don't have access, these energies still can do damage by creating dark energy around those who can have access to you. Hmm. These energies are stressed out because they know they missed an opportunity. But I feel, as I said before, they're wasting time. You're heavily covered. Hmm. Standing your ground awaken something not just in you, but those around you. I feel you challenging yourself causes others to step in a space where they're challenged as well. But as I said before, never underestimate the fake and the phony because they will do what it takes to give the attention they feel they deserve. And they're willing to cause tension and loss to do it. This five of Swords energy stands out for me because this is third party situations, loss, sadness, defensive energy of someone creating or causing tension. And this is why I say, even though you're heavily protected, someone is heavily determined. And those who are determined to steal, kill, or destroy will put in every effort that they have to provoke some type of reaction or manipulate a situation that is truly a trap as it seems this energy is definitely confident that they can cause some type of friction push you back to the person that you used to be or the person they thought you were but something is stepping into completion when it comes to someone who is trying to trap you hold you back someone is playing the victim playing the blame game hmm. I feel this is a very nostalgic situation for someone. Your awakening is pushing someone to think about the past. Someone is definitely in their imagination when it comes to being stuck in their ego. This is why they're trying to do something with you or make some type of offer. But it's very materialistic, very low vibrational. Something that you're not wanting to accept. Hmm. Devil energy. Someone is very delusional deceptive, manipulating, daydreaming energy of someone who is needing to find purpose but still creating and sitting in an illusion. Two of Wands is letting you know this energy is planning. They want you to open up Page of Cups. Someone is wanting you to open up, come forward, or be inspired by them again. Express something, express something, talk, do anything, because you're doing nothing at this point. Mm. But I do see rapid movement when it comes to someone who is planning, provoking, wanting a show. Will of Fortune in reverse, Two of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so it seems to me someone is moving fast because there is no new cycle. There is no new exchange. There's, there's nothing mutual going on here. And someone is used to having control. Someone is used to having their way when it comes to you. And it's just p pushing them to a very rageful state because they feel they can't have their way. I feel someone is being pushed to this place because they're used to getting a rise out of you or provoking a situation or you trying to defend yourself or your position but I feel something you did took them back they didn't expect it someone didn't expect you to isolate yourself clear your mind free yourself have some alone time to complete a cycle but I feel the world is at your feet you're about to come to a place of wholeness here with the world card eight of sorts cups here someone wanted you to feel trapped in a sense of playing the blame game someone was playing the victim but now you are awoken you're sitting in a space of change rebirth you're freeing yourself from some type of inner conflict there's transition here when it comes to you standing up for self and everything you believe in this is you standing in your potential this is you standing in your power this is fierce power after someone's moving your way, making contact. I feel you're still determined, Queen of Wands. 
not letting anyone darken your light because you know that your haters are definitely bothered by your energy. The fact that you shine and they don't. I feel you are focusing on yourself. You're inspired by something. Mm. You're inspired by those who look up to you or you're inspired by something that is ahead of you. But I feel you're activating something within self that not only frees you, but puts you in a space of a new start. Mm. So go with your gut. Go with your gut on this journey. When I see new commitments, responsibilities, life, abundance, stability that is beyond reason here. I see you celebrating, freeing your spirit. I see you being bold. Wow. The Most High wants you to know you were born to stand out. So do that in this season. I feel you were born to stand out. So do just that as you continue to step into your truth as well as see the truth in those who fear you seeing the truth about them. Because if you don't, you'll end up giving time, energy, and light to those who don't deserve you at all. Because from what I can see, the point of all of these things resurfacing is so many of you don't forget where you've been so you can truly appreciate where you're going.